This week marks National Police Week, an annual celebration in honor of the men and women who serve in local, state, and federal law enforcement all across our country. We're all safer because of their efforts, and this week is an important reminder of their continuing service and sacrifice on our behalf each and every day. Traveling across the country, thousands of law enforcement officers gather in our nation's capital each year to mark this occasion. They come here to recommit themselves to the peace and safety of our communities and to show respect for their fallen brothers and sisters in uniform who've made the ultimate sacrifice. We're honored to have them here in Washington and to join them in recognizing these officers. I'd like to pay special tribute to the brave men and women who protect and serve my home state of Kentucky. These officers put themselves in harm's way to defend our communities every day, and we owe them a tremendous debt of gratitude. Today, we also remember those officers from the Bluegrass State who tragically fell in the line of duty. First, I want to pay tribute to Officer Nick Rodman of the Louisville Metro Police Department. Officer Rodman unfortunately passed away after a car crash in Louisville while responding to calls of shots fired. He was 30 years old and had served in the department for three years. The Rodman family maintains a strong tradition in law enforcement, and he proudly continued that legacy. The many individuals Officer Rodman touched over the course of his life will remember his compassion, patience, and dedication to family. I'd also like to pay tribute to Officer Charles Halley of the Oldham County Police Department. The day before his death, Officer Halley responded to a call reporting smoke in a daycare center. While ensuring all of the children and employees had evacuated, Officer Halley was exposed to a refrigerant. The next day, he suffered a fatal heart attack. Officer Halley was 51 years old and dedicated 20 years of service to his department and his community. Officers Nick Rodman and Charles Halley displayed courage and heroism in their service will not soon be forgotten. I'd also like to take a moment to thank the men and women of the United States Capitol Police who stand guard here at the heart of our democracy. They protect the nation's legislature, the people who work here, and the millions of visitors who travel here to see our government in action. We're grateful for their diligence and for their service. I ask my colleagues to join me in expressing the Senate family's gratitude to law enforcement officers all across our country as we welcome so many of them to the Capitol this week. I'd like to reiterate our admiration for their honorable and dangerous work. We live in a safer society because of their brave efforts, and I'm glad that we're able to take this opportunity today to thank them for their service. And on an entirely different matter, later today, the Senate will vote to advance another well-qualified nominee, Jeffrey Rosen, to be Deputy Secretary of the Department of Transportation. Mr. Rosen has extensive experience serving at both the Office of Management and Budget and at the Department of Transportation. When he last came before the Senate to be the Chief Legal Officer of the Department of Transportation, he was confirmed by voice vote. It's disappointing that we had to file cloture on this bipartisan choice this time around. Mr. Rosen's work in both the private and public sectors has given him a unique insight into the budgetary and regulatory challenges that infrastructure projects face. I look forward to the Senate advancing his nomination later this afternoon.